Hello once again. I have the final video that I'll be doing for probably a month or two or three. Um, but I want to go ahead and get this online here for you. Uh, this is the final package. This is from Primary Arms and it is the optic that I purchased, uh, the second optic that I purchased. Um, so again, this just came in the mail from FedEx. I'm going to go ahead and open it up and we'll take a look at the packaging and of course the contents. Okay, so this here, again, for those of you who don't know, Primary, primary Arms uh, is always doing different promotions and different sales. Uh, this apparently was some kind of sale they had uh, based in Texas, because that's where they're located. So I guess some festival or something, I have no idea. But anyway, basically if you buy the Primary Arms 30 millimeter red dot, then you actually get a uh, Aero Precision Ultralight scope mount for it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the mount first. That's what I'm most curious about. It is very light. I feel like there's nothing in here at all. Um, looks like they give you some sort of a small Allen wrench, which is very nice because I mean, I've got plenty of these already, but the fact that it's got a nice little grip on it here, I think it'll be good. Um, so you could use the other end as well, uh, so you don't scratch up anything. But let's take the packaging off here and look at the actual mount. It's actually pretty awesome. Um, again, very basic, but it's low profile. Of course, this will go on the actual rail, and then you'll have your optic in here. Um, again, very, very light. It's not going to add any weight to it. It's got a, a hole down there in the center, so you can still use irons, I'm guessing, but my rifle doesn't have any irons on it. It's just going to be the optic for now, so that'll be exciting to see. Take a look at that elbow. Very nice. Now for the main point of the video here, just slide this out of the packaging, nothing else in the box, it's got the manual, nobody wants to see that, cleaning cloth, uh, this here you can use it to attach the uh, covers, that's one thing I really like about this is that it has pop-up covers that you can use obviously to protect it while not in use, so it comes with two of these. <coughs> And then it also has batteries included within the foam here. I'm going to leave those there just for a little bit until I'm actually ready to open up and get the optics set up. <clears throat> but the thing I really like about this is, again, just the size of the obje objective lens um, and just the way that everything is set up on it so that if you are zeroing in the optic, and it's got these little wire thingies here, which for me I think is a cool aesthetic look. But also it's very functional, because all you got to do is unscrew it to adjust your windage and elevation. And you don't have to worry about the lens cap falling off or setting it somewhere. Just make the adjustments as you need to here by the normal dial. And then just go ahead and screw it back on. Um, and again, it's got the different levels of uh, how bright you want it set up. Of course, you know, there's no batteries in it right now, so that's something else I'll change right before I get it mounted. But here's just a quick look of it. We'll get some close-ups here in a minute when it's actually mounted on the rifle. But as you can see here, there's seven brightness levels. Uh, at first, it looked really dim, but I was glad that when I turned everything up, it seemed to get, uh, it's almost like it had to, I don't know, not really charge or preheat or anything, but once I left it on seven for a little bit, the dot got brighter. Let me go ahead here, flip up the sights, or the uh, covers. And you can use <clears throat> either the wire that comes with it, or you can take the wire off and replace it with this rubber piece. Um, again, just so that you can use those so your caps don't get lost if you have to take them off for any reason, uh, or to do any readjusting. Uh, very, very red, <laughs> red dot lens on this side. Um, they offer a flash cover you can get, or a flash kill, which is 30 bucks. That works on the Aimpoint models, um, or brand of sights. But really, I don't think it's very practical um, for this application of it. And let me see if I can get it here without knocking everything over. Turn on the 7. And 
obviously it's a lot clearer in person but uh, and a lot smaller but that's the dot what it looks like again it's a red dot if you've spent any time with rifles or even video games you know what a red dot is but overall I'm very very impressed with it uh, all this together is about 140 with shipping and again very excited to get out to the range get it zeroed in and give you another update on the collection in general and let you know how these sites uh, turned out.